Hammett. You there, Hammett? Uh, we can't hear you, Hammett. Um, go to Andrew McLushin. Thanks, Cole. Hey, Aaron, um, have you got me there? Yeah, I can hear you, mate. Yeah, um, you talked before this tour about this being a bit of a fact-finding mission with a number of players missing. Do you think from that point of view, despite the defeat, it's been a useful exercise? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the experience of Pakistan really come through in the last two games. I think if you look at the... Um, well, Babo and Imam getting the job done a couple of times with the bat, one, once in a really big run chase and once in a small run chase... Um, I think that that proved proved probably the difference uh by well, the top order in particular i think what was really impressive is how how good our quicks were at different times although not getting the wickets and and the scorecard can be deceiving at times but there was some real positives the way that they brought into plans and um, and were able to adapt to to these conditions um was outstanding so some real positives there cheers alan thanks all right uh, hey, Aaron. Uh, I mean, you've been in this position uh, uh, before. Uh, uh, just, you know, talk about your form uh, during this series and just in the last uh, few white ball innings. Uh, is Are you concerned at all? Like, how do you look at it and just in you know, the manner you've been getting out and all that? About my personal form, was that the start of the question? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously it hasn't been up to scratch. There's, there's been... Uh... Been well short of runs in the Sri Lankan series and this series here. There's no doubting that. Um, I don't need you to tell me tell me that it's um, it's frustrating, no doubt. Um, and I think as you get older, you probably question yourself a little bit more. But I still feel as though all my training has been really positive. Um, it's just been first couple of balls getting my pad in the way, which is has been a theme throughout my career. But it would be nice if um, if that didn't happen. Um, but I'm still very confident that, that I can turn it around in the next series against Sri Lanka. Thanks, Brad. If everyone could speak up a little bit, please. We're just having some trouble hearing you on the... There's quite a bit of noise here. here. So if everyone could speak up. Have you got another one, Brad, or are you, uh, you good? Uh, uh, no, a male is sitting right next to me, Cole, so she'll ask the question like that. Yeah. Thanks, Cole. Hey, Aaron. Uh, just speaking hey, of... Um, of getting getting out early, uh, just wondering if you could talk through what it's like facing Shaheen. He has a ridiculous record of, of getting uh, wickets in in the first over, and um, he got you in the the T Twenty World Cup as well. Just how how difficult is it? What makes him so hard to to face in those opening a uh, uh, few balls? Oh, he's a fantastic bowler when when the ball's swinging around and. I think the height that he bowls from obviously plays a big part in that. He's, he's fast, he can swing it late. And, and I guess that his late swing is probably the main thing that, that troubles batsmen in their, in their first couple of balls, um, which, is, which is obviously frustrating to get out when the ball only swings for, for an over or two. But um, oh, he's, he's a great competitor as well. And I think if the wicket's got any bounce in it, he, he's bringing the slips into play if the ball doesn't swing. So oh, all around he's... Is a quality bowler and somebody who's, like you said, who if you're winning, sorry, if you if you're taking wickets in that first over and you're winning that initial power play battle, um, it goes a long way to being a successful team. Patrice Malik. Thank you, Cole. Captain, do you think that if you have your main bowlers with you, then the result will be different? And it's the main difference that you have not the main bowlers and you lost the series. Sorry, can you just say the first part of that question again, please? Do you think that you have you don't have your main bowlers, so that's why you lost the series? We had our main bowlers. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Yeah. I think that it was a it was a great opportunity for for guys like Nathan Ellis, um, Mitch Swepson, Jason Berendorf, Sean Abbott, Cameron Green to probably get more bowling under their belt in international cricket against some world class players. So I, I think that they're. they're the, the ability to bowl to the best players in the world on, on really challenging wickets will hold not just them, but the Australian cricket team in really good stead going forward because it will allow us to, to continue to be, um, continue to learning about the depth of the team. And, and that, that, that's not hiding behind the results at all. It's, it's just fact that, um, that the ability to, for guys to learn on the job in international cricket is, is super. And um, 
Oh, I'm really proud of how the boys tried tried their hearts out. We'll go back to Ham Hamad if you're there, Hamad. Yes, I'm here. Aaron, uh, I would like to ask you that uh, uh, Haritz Rauf is playing in Big Bash League. Uh, yep. What about uh, uh, Shaheen Shah Fridi and Babar Azam? Uh, what type of player you have experienced the quality of uh, ba Babar Azam's batting? Yeah, I just asked Babar before if he's interested in, in coming and playing for the Melbourne Renegades. And, and he certainly is. So, so hopefully we can announce that signing tomorrow. I'm only joking. Uh, it would be great to have um, more world-class players in our domestic competition. Babur is obviously as good as, as anyone for a long time in this format of the game. And, and T20 cricket, we just talked about Shaheen's strength. I mean, the, the, the talent of Pakistan cricket is extraordinary. So um, I think world cricket is better when, when Pakistan are playing well and, and world cricket is better when Pakistanis have the opportunity to play in, in our domestic league. Um, thanks, Carl. Um, Aaron, I just wondered how much uh, of an impact your knee injury from uh, the middle of last year has had on uh, your preparation and your movement and your and your form, because you were going sort of pretty well up to that point, and it seems to have sort of dropped away after that. Yeah, I think during the World Cup that was it was an issue, and probably throughout the summer it was as well. But actually, over the last probably having the only playing the two white ball games for Victoria after the big bash uh, gave me a chance to get a real chunk of rehab in, um, which was which was really good. So it felt great on this tour actually, and uh, probably the best it has felt since uh, before the West Indies tour when when I started to feel it badly. So um, uh, well, I haven't been able to do the amount of the amount of training over the last, like since since the injury up until this. This tour, I haven't been able to do the amount of training that I probably would have in the past. It's been no issue on this trip at all. So, um, no, I can't use that as an excuse. Louis. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mel. Hey, Aaron, uh, you mentioned LBW is um, is a bit of an issue for you, I guess, in this series. What are you kind of working on technically to um, to address not getting out <laughs> LBW for, for want of a better way of putting it? Yeah, obviously my head falling across slightly and it, and it it's just it creeps in my, to my probably my first five or six balls in a game. Um, at training, I, I seem to line up everything quite well. My head my head gets forward and, and I can keep it quite stable and upright. But I think just the adrenaline and the nerves and everything, my, my head just tends to fall over slightly, um, which then causes my front foot to move out, like fall over. And, and yeah, my head just gets outside the line of my body and, and my first maybe 10 balls. And one, once... Once you pass that first 10 balls, it, it, it's not really an issue and, and any kind of technical flaw you can work with. So um, it's just getting getting through that initial part, which I haven't done on this series. Two more here, guys. We've got uh, Amir Malik and then Usman Khan. Uh, hey, Aaron. How you doing, fella? Um, just on the, on the first game, you guys got, got the victory. Why do you think you may have fell by the wayside with, this, with the last two games? Any particular factor that may have played onto that, do you think? Oh, we come up against some pretty good players. Um, losing losing early wickets in the power play obviously doesn't help when, when you're batting first trying to set a total. So that, that's my responsibility there. That's, um, I mean, in, in the first game, Travis Head got off to a flyer and, and I was just able to sit in behind him and I think we got none for 100, which then sets up the rest of the innings. But putting us on the back foot with, some, with my early wicket in the first game, uh, in the second game and then going three down, three for six. Uh, it's always going to be tough to come back, but um, I think we were able to squeeze Pakistan in that first game. The, the ball got really wet and soft, which made it hard to hit, but we were able to squeeze them with some um, with some tight bowling early and, and the run rate pressure build up on a on a wicket that probably had a little bit more spin in it. The, the next two have been been pretty good for batting, uh, maybe a touch slower in the afternoon compared to the evening where it slides on a little bit more under lights, but um, oh, we're, we're outplayed. It's as simple as that as well. Last one. Uh, Aaron, uh, you just uh, speak about the prospect of Babar Azam playing in um, playing for Melbourne Renegades. You just speak uh, in frankly manner. 
uh, are you seriously considering babar azam to play bbl in next season or are you coming to play psl next season in pakistan uh you you have to wait for the schedules to be released before you can uh, if if babar azam is available to play big bash any team would love to have him um any of the pakistan guys uh, uh we love having them a part of our competition so any opportunity that they can fit into our competition is fantastic and um and that always be welcome um in the big bash but in terms of psl again it, it just it, all it comes down to is is waiting for the schedules to to be released and see where there's gaps in the schedule but um yeah i've, I've loved my time and and we've been treated exceptionally well here in pakistan and and we've loved the tour so far obviously it would have been nice if we could win that win the series but um not to be in but overall the way that we've been treated from the fans and um and everyone has has been fantastic thanks everyone and thanks to Aaron Finch for joining us this evening we'll catch up with all you guys after the T20 thank you cheers guys thanks, thanks Aaron. cheers fellow